All right, free radicals, welcome back. My name is Dave, and this is the Radical Independent. Thank you for watching my channel. Uh, you might consider this breaking news. I do because uh, I was hopeful that Jesse Ventura would make an entry into the 2020 presidential sweepstakes. Uh, he has filed paperwork officially with the Green Party uh, as a presidential candidate uh, in the, the primaries for the Green Party. Now, again, it is fairly late in the game, but this would not be unprecedented if Ventura was to jump in now. Uh, there are quite a few states remaining out there. There are pledged delegates and so forth, but like any presidential primary, the value of a candidate uh, to get this party on the map and to make an impact in this election where you've got two absolutely ridiculous candidates running for president uh, in Joe Biden and Donald Trump. It's, um, I feel bad for this country. We have 320 million people, and those are the two major party candidates. And Jesse Ventura has proven himself uh, in the sense that he's won a, a major election, he's has been governor of a state, and he won as an independent, and he would, I believe, cut into both uh, Joe Biden's support and also um, the support of Donald Trump. I believe he would get a number of Trump supporters on his side. Look, um, I'm not going to make any bones about this. I like Howie Hawkins. I like Dario Hunter. We've seen, though, that charisma, personality, um, name ID, these are all things that you have to consider uh, when you're looking or picking a presidential candidate. When you're looking for a candidate, you want some of these attributes. And starting from scratch and trying to build name ID for yourself when you don't have uh, as much exposure and um, look, Ventura has been on television for a number of years, not as a reality TV show host, um, but more as a commentator. Uh, he did have a show about conspiracy theories, I think, at one point. But, you know, again, uh, Ventura brings a wealth of knowledge. He's fervently anti-war. He's fervently pro-worker. He's pro-environment. I can go down the list of things that he he is, and he's ready to run in the Green Party because of the way Green the Green Party approaches climate change, and that's an issue that he's not willing to compromise on. He could run as a libertarian too, but he has chosen the Green Party, and he has filed the proper paperwork. So what does this mean? going forward. Well, first of all, there's got to be enough buzz about Ventura and that and that buzz has to come from outside the Green Party. People who would say, you know what, this would get me to go green. I've been thinking about it, but for whatever reason, and I've tried to plead with people about Howie Hawkins, I've said, hey, Howie's a great candidate. He's very intelligent. He's an intellectual. He is somebody who understands these issues. Dario Hunter, right there with him as far as what I would call product knowledge. He's, he's got the product knowledge in order to step up to any podium and debate anyone on any topic. Um, he is definitely ready for prime time. But the reality of this, at this late stage when you've got two floundering candidates in both Trump and Biden, and it's going to be a race to the bottom between those two candidates, and Jesse Ventura would be the ultimate alternative to either Trump or Biden, and again, would take support from both constituencies. So I think this is pretty cool news, and um, I'm excited. I'm not sure what's going to happen within the Green Party, if they're going to roll out the red carpet for Jesse, or if they're going to say, hey, you, uh, you got in this too late. 
But I'm very interested to see what happens going forward. I'm not trying to promote one candidate or, or another candidate over another. I interviewed both Dario Hunter and Howie Hawkins on this channel, and I liked both of them. Um, will I get a chance to talk with Jesse Ventura? It would be an honor to talk to Governor Ventura because I believe uh, he, br he brings something that is an intangible to the race if he decides to get in. And it's, yeah, it's personality driven, it's name recognition, it's take no prisoners, it's call it like it is, um, it's the Minnesota attitude. I don't know uh, how else to put it, but I'm excited about Governor Ventura, and I'll keep you up to date if I hear anything more. The paperwork being filed, I think, is a pretty big deal, and uh, that means he's, he's wanting to run as a Green Party candidate. Back in that interview in October that I have covered, he said, you know, I've got to wait for all the poachers to leave. Well, the poachers have left. And uh, I think he probably saw what happened with Bernie Sanders and said, oh, man, there's nobody now. There's just nobody who's going to represent working class people. So he decided to jump into the race, or at least he's trying. He's trying to do that. So, uh, again... I will cover this. Thank you for watching the channel. Please subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell if you need notifications on when these videos get uploaded. And if you can help me out via Patreon or PayPal, David J. Spuria at um, gmx.com for uh, PayPal, Patreon. There's a link, and that will take you over to my music channel page, and you can sign up right there. A uh, dollar a month, two dollars a month. It goes a long way if all the subscribers or half of them signed up, I wouldn't have to even ask for any more assistance. All right, I'm done. See you soon.